video of 8051 theories my name is milan sai and today this video is all about pin description of 8051 so as you can see there are 40 pins in 8051 ic in which 32 pins are used for io 32 pins are those pin which uh, allocated to port 0 1 2 and 3 these are the four ports each port has eight pins so let's start with port 0 see here port 0 is 8 bit bidirectional io port it is bit or byte addressable now during external memory access it functions as multiplex data and low order address bus so you can see these are multiplexed address and data lines eight lines are there in port 0 so it can function as io or multiplex data and address line so now move on to port 1 it is also 8 bit by directional io port it is also bit or byte addressable now when logic 1 is written into port latch then it works as input mode it functions as simply io port and it does not have any alternative function so these are just io ports <coughs> and uh, it has only one function now move on to port 2 now as you can see there are some address line a8 to a15 so let's start with port 2 it is 8 bit bidirectional io port it is also bit and byte addressable now during external memory access it functions as higher order address bus okay Now move on to port three. Port three is also eight bit I/O port, but all the pins of port three have some special functionality. Like you can see R X D T X D I N T zero I N T one T zero T one W R R D. So these are some special functions. We will talk about this later. So now move on to this XTAL one and XTAL two. What these pins actually do? So these are two IP lines for on-chip oscillator and clock generator circuit. Now a resonant network as quad crystal is connected between those pins and. 8051 microcontroller also drives from external clock then XTAL2 this XTAL2 is used to drive 8051 from external clock and XTAL2 should be there now move on to this EA EA port what this EA port will do it is active low pin ip pin when this ea is equal to 0 then microcontroller access from external program memory only means rom only but when ea is equal to 1 then it access internal as well as external program memory means ram and rom now move on to this pse n pin 29 number pin it is active low signal it is used to enable external program memory means rom it is used to enable rom when psen is equal to 0 then rom becomes unable and microcontroller read content of rom therefore it is connected to oe of external rom it is activated twice every external rom memory cycle ok 
okay so this is for enabling room now move on to aad 30 number pin aal stands for address latch enable it is active high signal when it goes high external address latch becomes enabling and lower address of external memory latch into it mean ram and rom so when this signal is goes high it separates a0 and a7 a0 to a7 address from ad0 to ad7 it is used to separate this line if necessary otherwise they are multiplex and al is activated twice in every machine cycle now move on to the reset pin rst rst stands for reset it is active high signal it should be maintained high for at least two machine cycle while while oscillator is running then 8051 controller resets means when rst is equal to 1 then microcontroller resets and this vcc is the plus 5 volt supply so these are four ports psen for enabling rom ale to separate these address lines ea for uh, accessing rom and uh, ram and rom for both xta is for clock so 8051 can oscillate from external clock and these are some ports which we will study in detail later so if you have any question then then you can comment below otherwise do like share subscribe and thanks for watching